Good morning everyone, it's Bubs. How is everybody doing? Now this morning I'm very excited to share with you guys my August favorites. Now before I go on to share all the great stuff, which I'm so excited for, just a quick recap on this channel. My name is Bubs and I am from Northern Ireland and this channel is all things beauty. So if you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. As I film this today, it is the 28th of August. It's just been such an amazing summer and I'm so grateful. And because it's been such a great season i'm quite sad to see it come to its end i'm also looking forward to fall i'm looking forward to seeing the leaves turn red i'm looking forward to stepping on crunchy leaves i'm looking forward to lighting candles and hot chocolate i'm looking forward to layering up i'm wearing cute accessories like scarves and hats and just wrapping up. I may even go trick-or-treating this year. Let's get straight into the products. Starting off, I'm so excited to share this product with you guys. Now, this is the Clio Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara. And this is a red and black one, the long curling one. Apparently, this mascara has just been a huge hit in South Korea. A little while back, I was with Sweden with Pixie Beauty. And when I was there, I got to meet the very lovely Tina Young. I just love Tina. She's so sweet. She's so talented. And uh, she even offered to do my makeup and give me tips on how I could apply to my hooded eyelids. When she was doing my makeup, the product that really blew me away was this mascara. You know, for a lot of girls, when you say, oh, two minute makeup, they'll put on mascara. For me, mascara has not, never ever been something I really reached for. Even though I know for a lot of girls, it makes the most difference. And the reason is because I've just always had short, sparse lashes. I just always felt like even with mascara, it didn't, it didn't make that much of a difference. I don't really like using strip lashes either. And I don't always get eyelash extensions. I probably get them once a year. Right after Tina did my makeup and showed me the effects of this mascara, I was like, whoa, I can actually see my lashes. The more she applied, the more I could see my eyelashes elongating. So I was so pleasantly shocked and surprised. I have had people ask me if I'm wearing a lash serum. To some, these lashes may not look that much, but for what my lashes are normally used to, like it's a huge difference. I can finally enjoy the joys of mascara. The best thing is also the worst thing about this mascara. It's great because it's so waterproof and so if you curl your lashes it really holds that curl but at the same time it really takes a jackhammer to remove it. No wonder it's called super proof because it's not just waterproof. Honestly it is super proof. Usually I like to use a cleansing oil to remove my makeup and usually it removes everything including the waterproof but not enough to remove this. I find that the benefit eye makeup remover works really well with this mascara. I just really love how this mascara really lengthens my lashes without making it look too clumpy. If you got short stumpy lashes like mine, like most Asians say, and please please try this mascara but just make sure you get a really good eye makeup remover at the same time except this product has been inviting a lot of questions I shared it very briefly um, in my Instagram stories uh, all my life I've been wondering where this product has been this is the hair styling stick from Matu Machi and it's a Japanese product I came up with this product I was uh, complaining about my BB hairs because if you guys don't know I've always had this issue my head just basically always looks like an armpit I could use the best shampoo I could use serum and my hair can look sleek but because I've always had a BB hair problem it still looks like I've just gotten out of bed a really sweet bub scriber she was like bubs have you tried this this is what it looks like and it doesn't look like a lot of product. But I truly believe this will last me for a long time. And I do use this on quite a frequent basis. Before, I've invested into like special um, hair mascaras and people have said use hairspray on a toothbrush. I've tried everything, but nothing worked. The formula, the way it is, it just works so well in my hair. I would usually use this to smooth away the BB hairs. I don't really have any today, as you can see. So I purposely left the back here frizzy so I can show you guys and demonstrate look at that and it doesn't make the hair look greasy like a lot of the uh, baby hair mascaras it's more of a matte finish the texture is between a wax and a clay it holds really well but it doesn't look greasy look at that amazing they do have two versions this is the original one and they, they have another one which is like a super version. So I thought I'll try the original and if I really need the 
the, the super one, then I'll try it. But this one is working really well and I'm just gonna stick with this one. Next product that I've really been enjoying is, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, I've been wearing a braid band quite a bit. This is actually not my hair. Mornings are not just such a busy hustle and bustle time that I, I just don't really have time to do my hair and most times it's just in a ponytail. But uh, I figured with this, even if my hair is in a ponytail, my hair can still look quite special. I could do my own uh, braided headband, but it would mean that my hair would lose a lot of volume because that hair would be used to create the braid. It just makes complete sense for me to buy a braided hair bun. I bought this one from Amazon and it was not expensive at all. It comes in a whole range of different colors. It doesn't look too much. It looks quite effortless, uh, but it gives my hair a little something something. This is what it looks like. I can't wear like this for more of a clean look. I find it really handy that I can just pop it on and adjust like this because I could put it on without messing up my hair. So there's a whole bunch of ways I'm sure you can use this braided hairband. It's much more multifunctional than an actual hairband. So next up, this is the Pixie Glotion Day Dew. When I was in Sweden with Pixie, I was asking my friend Andrea, who has the most amazing skin. Like she does not look like she's close to 50. One of the products that she really raved about was uh, this product right here. I've always loved Pixie's products. I love their makeup. I love their glow tonic. I love their skin oils. Even though this is one of their really popular products, I've never tried this um, until going to Sweden. And now I'm just so in love with it. So basically, this is a day moisturizer. And I've been looking for a day moisturizer for a while. But what makes this so good isn't just the fact that it's lightweight and super hydrating at the same time. If you are a low maintenance type of gal, if you are just busy in the morning and you don't have a lot of time to like put on your makeup, then this is a product for you because this just makes your skin look so much more illuminated. Your skin looks almost sort of glass-like. You know in Korea how people are really into the glass skin trend and use all these products? Well, this is exactly what it gives you. It does have this luminance to it and that's why when you put it on, it just reflects and all the dull areas, it just bounces away. And that's why it creates an illusion of the brighter skin, the glowy skin. You can see this hand compared to this hand. This one looks much more sallow, whereas this one, it looks much more brighter. It looks more moisturized. You know in Korea, I know a lot of girls like to just wear bases and that's it. But for me, I feel like the luminance is too much where it looks kind of fake and too shiny. But I find that with this one, it's it's a perfect amount of luminance where your skin just looks like skin but the luminance that it gives is so natural normally around my lips it gets a little bit red like these parts can tend to be quite hormonal and my skin can also get quite sallow but the way it just bounces off the light it just minimizes appearance without me using a single drop of foundation so next up a product i've really been digging is this makeup brush holder and i just love the aesthetics of it in my bedroom um the color aesthetic is usually uh, white, gold, and pink, and I just love how it looks. It's girly, it's chic. See, it's got this hexagon design, but what's great about this is because it's got three different sections, I can store all my brushes together while they're being organized. So for the top one, of course, I'll have my eyeshadow brushes because they tend to be taller. And then the second one, I'll put my face brushes. And then for the third one, I put my beauty blenders. And it's just perfect because I can store them together, but they're separate at the same time. So I got this one from Amazon and it was cheap and cheerful. It looks great on my vanity. Next up, this product I've been loving, not just in August, but for the past couple months. A lot of times when I wear this and I post on Instagram, a lot of you guys are asking what I'm wearing. And then I believe for one of the videos, I think it was uh, the assumptions video a lot of you guys were asking what was on my lips so I'm so excited to share with you guys my favorite uh, go-to drugstore lipstick which is from uh, Ramel is it Ramel or Ramel the shade is in number 700 in Unclothed initially one of my girlfriends was wearing this lipstick and I was like what is on your lips her lips are naturally quite full but on this day they they looked extra plump. I was so excited when she told me it was a drugstore lipstick. Such a lovely creamy mocha color. It's nude, but not too nude. 
it just feels so moisturizing. This lipstick, because it's so moisturizing, it just makes my lips look so much more plump. Thank you, Ying, for the recommendation. The final product of the month is this. This is my this is my stepper. I've always been a bit of a little multitasker. So, you know, what I love to do at the end of the day, I like to reward myself with a little bit of TV, a little bit of Netflix. And while I'm doing so, um, I like to do a little bit of exercise. The first five minutes, it's a little mm. slow. But after it warms up, then it gets a lot smoother. You can maneuver it where you want to. You can exercise in a bedroom. You can exercise in a living room. It gets your heart pumping. It works your legs. I can feel my core is being worked. It's burning calories. I can do this when I'm watching TV. In front of TV, I'm just... I'm just stepping away. It doesn't make a lot of noise. It's fun. Sometimes I like to incorporate it with weights. Does it replace the gym? No, it's not supposed to. You know, it's quite a good way to, you know, incorporate some cardio um, into your life uh, every day or, you know, a few times a week, whatever. It's absolutely inexpensive. I think a stepper is quite a good way to get into it and get yourself started. All right, guys, these are my top products of August. And I hope you enjoy chilling with me. I really appreciate your time. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. Your girl is checking out and I shall talk to you really soon.